Hello everyone! Welcome back to Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is Cycle 3, Week 3, Science. For everyone else, that just means we're going to be talking about the three different types of muscle in the body. What are they? How do they help our body work? And how awesome is our God for making us the way he did? So let's go ahead and start doodling. Muscles are very important in your body. They do everything from helping you move your body to hike up a mountain, to pumping your blood through your body, to helping you even digest food. Some muscles you can control, and we call these voluntary muscles. Some you cannot, and they are called involuntary muscles. They do their job without you thinking about it. Did you know there are actually 600 muscles in your body helping to make life as you know it possible? So let's jump into the three types of muscles. Let's look at the first type. Smooth muscles are some of the involuntary muscles that we just talked about. And remember, that means you can't think to control them. Smooth muscles are at work all over your body. In your stomach and digestive system, they contract and relax to allow food to make its journey through your body. They also come in handy if you're sick and you need to throw up. The muscles push the food back out of your stomach so it comes up through your esophagus and out of your mouth, hopefully into the toilet. Smooth muscles are also found in your bladder. When they're relaxed, they allow you to hold in your urine until you can make it to the bathroom. Surprisingly, they are even found in your eye. Smooth muscles help you to focus on things. Smooth muscles are even in your skin and cause hair to stand up in response to the cold temperature that you feel and give you what is called goosebumps. The second type of muscle in your body is the cardiac muscle. This is the muscle that makes up the heart. Hmm, let's think about this to determine whether or not the cardiac muscle is involuntary or voluntary. Can you think to make your heart beat? If you want it to beat faster, can you make it do so by just thinking about it? The answer is of course no. This is an involuntary muscle and this is a good thing because if you forget to make your heart beat or go to sleep at night, you are not thinking about making your heart beat and it has to do it automatically. Coordinated contractions of cardiac muscle cells in the heart force blood out of the atria and ventricles to the blood vessels. The thick muscles of the heart contract to pump that blood out and then they relax to let blood back in after it has circulated throughout your body. Now the last type of muscle in your body is skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle controls movement, posture, and balance. A person can move skeletal muscle by thinking about it and then doing it. So what is it considered? It is considered to be voluntary, of course. Cord-like structures called tendons connect skeletal muscle to the skeleton. As skeletal muscle tightens or contracts, the muscle gets shorter. It 
pulls on the bones attached to it and helps you move your bone. As the muscle relaxes, it gets longer. It lets the bones fall back into place. In this way, skeletal muscle makes the bones move the different parts of your body. To make skeletal muscle move, you need to think about it, and then the brain sends a message along a type of nerve called a motor nerve. Now, we can also injure our skeletal muscles by perhaps doing too much work or exercise, and this can cause pain. You can also injure a muscle by stretching it too far that it tears. This is called a muscle strain or a pulled muscle. Skeletal muscles can also cramp, which means they can stay tightly contracted or even twitch, which means move by itself. Thankfully, this is just temporary and with proper rest and nutrition, you will be back to feeling yourself in no time. So in all, muscles are incredibly important for life and all the processes that you need to do as a human. Our God is awesome in the way that he made us perfectly equipped for life on earth. And that is all we have for today. As I always say, make sure you keep studying about these three different types of muscles. Talk with your parents. Try and figure out which part of your body has which type of muscle. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.